Hello everyone. Hi. I'm excited because we are finally giving our review on Kingdom of the Feared by Carrie Maniscalco. The third book in the Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy. So this and is the last book of this certain story. A million story. Rap. We feel that there will be spinoffs though. Sarah and I feel that. Don't you think? Yes. But what I was going to say is we got the Barnes & Noble exclu exclusive edition, which has an extra scene in it. Um, and it is a scene from um, Envy. Envy's point of view that happened in Kingdom of the Cursed. So yes. um, that was fun. Uh, Especially because we like to, I don't know, like I always think when uh, the other demons are in it, I, I like to hear like... I think they're funny. Yeah, I like but to all hear, the other like, characters. Lust. She's really built this world um, that she can go in so many different directions with the story. Like you can get a story of all the brothers, um, all the princes of hell. Um, or stuff that will settle more things that, you know, like have been brought up that like can kind of have a conclusion in themselves to what the yes. brother stories. Yeah, exactly. That's what, you know, because there were some things left open in Kingdom of the Feared on their end. Now, Raph and Amelia, their story is pretty they're much done. They're settled. They're, um, and I think it was a good um, yeah, ending for them. Yeah. I do. They're pretty much settled. And um, so it was pretty cool. Like, she has this big world building. She definitely that she open. Yeah, that she can now go in, which I'm excited because I actually really enjoyed the brothers, mm -hmm. um, especially Pride and Envy. Um, you can see they were front and center more than the other brothers. Maybe Greed will get something eventually. Um, but yeah, and Victoria. Um, yeah, because I felt like I could see more going on to Victoria. I mm -hmm. could see more. I don't want to give any other no, thing away, but there's another away. character I could see having a little more done on, as well as the brothers. We we really like them. They're very gray, which they're good and they're bad. I feel like they're really like good, they, just yeah. in a bad world underworld like yeah you know, I mean, in yeah, this they world do have their, they do have like their um the, like obviously they have a, a their name for a reason like they will kill willingly if they need to or take care of that stuff but if you really like look at like for example wrath he really wants things taken care of in the right way it's almost like if someone's getting punished it's for the right reasons you know it's not just to be like oh like off with your head so, anyways, I thought, you know what, I have to say with, um, I really, okay, so my favorite book out of the three of them was Kingdom of the Cursed, the second book. That I just love that book. Mm -hmm. We've talked in the past that the first book wasn't our favorite. I honestly, if I had not, not followed Carrie on Instagram and started seeing all her little teasers she was putting out for Kingdom of the we Cursed, we would have given up. I think I would not have picked up the second book, honestly. Um, I thought the first book ended better, like where I was like, oh, interesting, I wonder how this is going to go, but I I probably would not have really continued on with it, but I, you know, I was like, I don't know why I followed her. I'm shocked I followed her because I just was not a huge fan at first, and or of the book, not of her, and I, I'm like, oh, this looks good, and I'm so glad we went because... The second book was amazing. I loved it. I love this book too, but I do think book two is my favorite out of this series. Yeah, book two, book three, this and trilogy. then book one. On um, book one, I was bored with. I thought the ending, um, if I could recall, it's been a while. I think the ending, I was like, it ended a little better. But yeah, it was not it, like, just when I thought it was going to get good, it, it it didn't, it wasn't satisfying enough for yeah. me. It, um, yeah, it just wasn't anything spectacular and you know I agree if we hadn't really seen some teasers for the second one um it, we probably, I don't know honestly, if I would have continued would on have picked um, it up again. yeah it's just not the book book one you so for those who um we don't really want you watching this but if you this are video <laughs> yeah because you gotta read the other one they don't they don't even read books and they get stuck on watching some of our videos yeah <laughs> so. i would um if you're planning on reading the series don't watch this yet come back because there are spoilers for the first and second one um but if you happen to be watching it you gotta muscle through the first book the second one's phenomenal this one is good great great yeah i love that. second I one was my one favorite five star I yes mean. um but this one was really really good it was a good ending which i really liked 
and um, there are plenty of spin-offs that I'm sure she is planning because this is such a big um, story or this world is so well, big. Well, she did so well with this series. So, like, I can see why not take the other beloved characters that people have grown to love and think are funny and all that and make a story on them. And I think there's a lot of loose ends that still need to be written about I really do and I yeah, would love yeah. to see that I hope she does I really hope she comes out and says I'm gonna do it on so and so and so and so um anyways but yeah so this book I I think it really did come around nicely like it kind of it starts basically literally right off from the ending of the book book. two uh, literally that minute that it ended it picks up that same it, minute yeah it was literally right after what was said the next starting this was like the next sentence so which it's i like, enjoyed yeah it's yeah. not like a week or a month later which was great how book two ended because it, it was left that not you know that cliffhanger not a cliff cliffhanger yeah. but like enough that you're like oh i want to see what's gonna happen and you know you do get a you get all your questions answered as to who is who in this story she did do that very well yes like where she really finished the story yeah like, and good. our um we kind of had i mean we were pretty much right in our conclusions yes. um, of what, who they all were going to be and you know, especially the sisters. Um, so that was refreshing to see that we were right for once that we weren't, <laughs> we weren't totally off on a different tangent. Um, thinking this was going to happen really yeah, is no that, clue. That's usually no, the no, story yeah. of our life. We we're like, wrong. Oh, this is going to happen. Yeah. Not even. So, um, yeah, no, it was, you learn everything, you, you get, you get all your questions answered, basically. And now, though, there are new questions, like we said, for a spinoff. There are new questions um, that are very intriguing for us to read about. So we're excited to see where she's going to take the stories. Um, and those who have read it, you probably know what we're talking about. Um, she has all the brothers that she can write about, Victoria. Um, even characters Claudia, too. yeah, and you know, you learned her who the first witch is, the daughter of the first witch. Um, you learn all of that stuff, so it was very, it was, it was nice to get that that those answers in this story, which I figured you were. If it was going to be the last book, we've had to have get it, gotten it, you know. So yeah, it was, it was a great book. I give it five. Yeah, stars. and I, and I still feel like there was a lot of the fun wit in it um it didn't lose that it still had um a lot of steaminess this one yes finally you get the steaminess it really i mean we were starting to get it in the second book but this one they really finally um completed their marriage bond you know yes. that they haven't done yet so they did it in this book um and then we found out a little bit more on wrath like certain things we're not going to say but certain things why he was doing certain things there was a reason which obviously but we kind of figured that out so i mean i thought it was really really good and you know at the end of the second book we were tr you were basically left with who with em amelia saying like who am i mm -hmm. she doesn't know and like she's confused there's things that are happening like Whenever she was semi getting intimate with in the second book, which they didn't complete the marriage bond, but when they were starting to in the second book, she would get these flashes of another Memory. woman, memories, and like, and it was it was confusing her, and so this kind of comes full circle where things just kind of ah, you know, like okay, this is what yeah. why I was having this, so that was good to finally see that part of it. Um, it was good. We got a lot more Victoria in this book, which I liked. I I liked to see kind of what was going on with that, which um, I can see her having more to do with. You know, like mm -hmm. I I don't know. I think I could, I would like to see her have a little bit of a story. It's always hard for me though to leave a character that mm -hmm. I the characters that I fall in love with. But Listen, and, but I love the like the the brothers so much. I was that... gonna say I actually am I I'm, I love Wrath and I love Amelia too. I don't get me wrong, but I'm really excited to see where she's gonna take the brothers because obviously she's gonna go somewhere with them. That's the spinoffs, you know. Obviously that's gonna happen because um, I really liked Envy in this. Um, mm -hmm. I really really liked him. He was funny. He was that bad boy like. You don't quite trust him, but you like him. I even thought, so. less, I even thought Lust had some little funny. Lust like, was fun, yeah. yeah was like but Pride, little... obviously, Pride's a big, 
a big story. I think Prime is going to get a story. Yeah. I do. I, well, so, I hope he does. I want to know. Yeah. I want so, Pride to have a story. I'm actually quite excited to get to their books now. Obviously, they're going to have one. I hope. Well, we hope. I, hope. I mean, I think it's obvious, too, but maybe we're... Yeah. We think we know. Come on, everybody. Carrie. You got to give us... Um, some of those princes of hell. Yeah, maybe has she confirmed? Has anyone heard? I don't know. I'm gonna go on and look. On that and stuff? Um, there was a there was a story in this book. Um, I kind of felt quite bad for the sisters um, regarding their family, and um, which I wouldn't mind finding out even what a little more what's happened with them, like her her mother and father that have. You well, know. yeah, you learn about... Um, and more... We, we're not going to say, but I would no. like to, like, hear more about them. Yeah. I mean, they've been gone in the underworld, regardless. I would like to know what, like, they their, their daughters are... You know, well, when's dead, you know, to them. What is going on? Like, what are the parents thinking? What is... You know, like, I would love to hear a little bit more yeah, on Yeah, I mean, you, you learn more about Nona. Nona was a big one, which I would like to hear more on Nona. Nona was a big one in this story you know what happens with her because even though she had they had their mother and father Nona is like the one that really you know raised yeah, them yeah but you learn you learn that story of why they are who they are and what happened with that I thought like I said I thought it was great I was really enjoying it um and yeah I say go get the book pick it up read it it's a great mm -hmm. book I gave it a five she gave it a five I enjoyed it. Carrie, you did an excellent job with this, and I wasn't sure at first, but I, I ended read, up loving it. Have you guys read the Jack the Reaper? Or is it Jack yeah, the Jack the Reaper, Reaper. Of Carrie Maniscalco. I've heard it's really good, so I, I kind of want to put ones. that out on our to-be-reads eventually to read that series. So um, I want to read more Carrie Maniscalco books for sure. So... Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I think um, we we recommend it. We're gonna get a video out on um, NBC. Yep, the additional point of view. So we'll be having that coming out very soon. So, so stay, stay tuned, tuned for that. But other than that, I think that's it. So we would love for you to like the video and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.